Hey guys, I'm going to turn you up. <clears throat> Let me turn you up, buttercups. Alright, this is going to be for Gemini. Gemini, staying alive, staying alive. Alright, week two for Gemini. Week two for Gemini. Pride. I heard put the effort in, so I don't know if there's an effort card or if it's in here. So you're letting pride get in the way. Okay. Or well, see, pride can be good, but I don't. It's it's a lesson card, right? So something's throwing me off. Um, it's like you're being challenged, Gemini. You're too prideful to maybe even apologize. Let's current energy, Gemini. Just don't let it's a lesson. So you're letting pride get in the way, or you gotta release that. Yeah, see, you're not liking a situation. Right off the rip, I know this has to do with you, but I don't even feel like it's you. Hmm, how he or she feels about you. That's strange. Love yourself first. And new love. Okay, so... I don't know if you just met somebody or you're about to, but you don't see coming. Because I think you probably let go of somebody. Possible outcome. It's almost like someone learns a harsh lesson here with something. Passion. Shoo. Current past, whether it was two weeks ago, two months ago, um, two hours ago. Honeymoon. So there was some distance between you and somebody. Trying to stay positive, but not really staying positive. All right. Your energy is, whew, is different. So give me a second to sit with this. Holy cow. Um, even Sheldon was up walking around. He just came to a complete pause. <clears throat> Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Ain't no less for the wicked. Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm just picking up something on the floor that Sheldon was trying to bite at. I don't know if it was like dry cat puke. I don't really know what that was.
Kristen just said that I have a Clorox wipe. Oh, that was my niece. Okay. Now I need water. Oh my goodness. Oh, I washed my hands and I wiped them on my pajama pants and these pajama pants are not very absorbent. Okay, not really sure what's going on. All right, this energy is definitely different, okay? Um, honestly, I feel like you just want something new. I feel like this is you. It's so odd how this is placed, honestly. So you're going to have to pick a pile because there's some distance between you and somebody. I don't know if pride ego got in the way. I don't, I don't know. I'm even feeling envy. Um, it's like you don't, it's like you don't even have enough self love. Or enough, enough self worth to be like, yes, I want this. It's, it's like really all over the place. Tell me about this codependency. Yeah, see, you're moving away from it. Like you got hurt in a situation. But I'm still feeling like you were dealing with somebody. Tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me. Mm -mm -mm. I still feel like you were dealing with somebody. Yeah, see, this was, you were dealing with a situation. This is new love. You guys got new love. You could be rekindling something, but to me, you're like, no, I know my worth. It's like you communicated something. It's like clean up your own shit or something. Tell me, honeymoon. So it's like separating from a situation. You, It's like you put yourself first, but this person needs to learn to put themselves first. If that, I know that actually makes sense to you. Yeah, see, it was hung up. Somebody was holding back, not following their gut. They needed to walk away from a situation. So, wow. I feel like this is you. You're like, fuck this. And this is not your pride. I don't know how that energy shifted like this or why it's being placed like this. But this is not you needing to change how you're thinking about something. The high priestess knows how to follow the gut. That's not you holding back. You could be because of this situation, but that's telling me you're not even holding. Like, you wouldn't even have to put effort into holding back because you know better anyway. That's why you would walk away. That's why it already happened where it's coming in your current past. See? Like, something like, tell me love yourself first. So this is a, a person, place, a thing, like something, right? King of Cups, Queen of Wands. So I don't know if it was just like an attraction thing or a competition. Um, it's like a stalemate is what just came to me. Arguing. Yeah, see, this is, you were keeping yourself feeling trapped. You weren't fighting. You need to fight and get out of this energy. What is this new love? Hoo-wee. I'm going to tell you right now, you are moving forward. You're either rekindling or you got someone new here because somebody's going to want a new chance. And you might just be like, nope, dead, because it would go in this direction. Justice. Someone's getting their just dues. Karma is hitting somebody. You got new love, a new spark, a new interest. That's because you let something go. Tell me about forgiving and learning. Yeah, you definitely put your boundaries up and spoke the truth. But this is what you don't see coming. So somebody's going to put their boundaries up. Or you are if you haven't been. You're done. You're looking at your future bigger, brighter, better. Triple Bs. Bigger, brighter, better. 
So you're about to block somebody. Because you've had enough. And this is this person, too, blocking new love because of, of a, a shit scenario somewhere. This is somebody who's like, ah, oh, I don't feel good enough. I doesn't, you know, it, it, you chose this thing and trapped into something. Competition, mental conflict. So I think you guys definitely know what that is. I don't know if you know what this is yet, but you're about to meet somebody new. Woo-wee. I think you met somebody and you caught feelings, but they're in a situation that was holding them back and you said, fuck this. It looks like someone's, it was like the second you move on, someone's going to be like, oh, all right, I'm going to put boundaries up. I want this. I think it's too late. Holy shit. You might be going straight to the ton of cups. Now, realistically, right? That takes time. But this is, you're probably going straight to like the King of Pets type, type energy. Somebody who's reliable, dependable, stable, knows what they want, works hard. You got a beautiful outcome coming. You don't even see it. It's going to be emotional. It's going to be beautiful. It's something you manifested. You're capable of, of working with this energy. If there's any obstacles, you can definitely push through. It's a given. See, that or you're dealing with somebody who's in a, a codependent situation and you've been holding on. But I don't, I don't, my Gemini's, I mean, everybody has their moments, but you typically do not do that. So I'd be shocked if you were. This is somebody who didn't have enough self-worth. This is self-worth. This is going after what you want. You're looking at things differently. Like, this is you. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Cancer, an Aries. It it doesn't matter. They're coming in as Gemini. And I think it's because we're going into Mercury, to be quite honest with you. Let's see what you have to say. And I don't normally read it this way. Let's see what you have to say to the old person. I'll wait for my sign for you. I want to feel that way again. I feel you leaving me behind. No, that's telling me something different. I want to tell you how I feel. I'm not available. So I don't, are you just waiting for this person to come around for you to be like, I'm not available. It's like sweet revenge. What is this? So it must be how they feel about you, even though I wanted to read it a different way. Yeah, see, so you're sitting on solid ground coming in as like, Actually, yeah, you're standing on solid ground here. That's not you questioning. Yeah, see, you're, that's not that's not you questioning. This is somebody that was hung up in the past, something codependent, something sticky, and it's like they're waiting for you. It's it's kind of arrogant. They're going to be waiting a long time. Because right now, that's what they're sitting in. I don't know if this person from the past wants to fall in love with you again, but I don't even think you're going there. Something's a, Someone's about to spot you. Like, literally. Like, this is like from a kiss.
some of you, uh, this could have already happened. Don't ask me why they wanted me to say that to you. And now they're coming back. Stab in the back, headache, deception. See, yep, yeah, meeting somebody new, getting back out there. No, this someone else lost. They kept you in a situation of games, competition. They could be saying goodbye, bye bye to their past. It could be the new person you're meeting and about to date. Because I just asked about new love and meeting somebody new, getting back out there. You want that family life, that contentment, that that solid structure. It's coming. Others of you, this this person will try to come back. I don't know if they stabbed you in the back. You feel like you were. And to me, it's like, you're like, I'm not available. Because this is whomever you were dealing with. Yeah, you're going to have to decide. You want to go, you're going to decide if you have to walk away from somebody that was no good. This is somebody wanting you back. But to me, it's like you're turning your back. It's like they lost. You're holding yourself at high standards. You're not having it. It's like they trapped themselves in a situation. Yep, there we go. I'm grateful for a spiritual lesson. I knew there was a lesson, yeah. I'm pretty sure I said something like that in the beginning. Gemini. Well, this is exciting. You got happiness coming. So, fuck fear. So, somebody's fearing. I, I don't see fear on your end. And then stop whining. All right. It will lie to your face, fear, all right? And then you have, no one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. Have the strength to change the world. Do something. So do it if you think you can. You know, so you do got someone prideful, egotistical here. I don't think this is your fear. You wouldn't fear this. I mean, you could for a split second, but you're about to get what you want. You've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for that passion, that spark. Why? Well, I'm not saying waiting, but you had to have learned a lot of lessons. Um, you had to have learned a lot of lessons to get you a ton of cups, right? So it's, it's almost like you don't see it coming. Something you manifest, it just might not be who you manifested. But I, I think you're totally okay with that. Mirroring each other's self-image, reflecting on old wounds, keys on a ring. Yeah, decisions. I don't know if you're going to have a one-night stand or you're going to fall. It's, it's like that type of spark, that passion, that desire. Eh, you might, but then you're going to fall in love. you got unconditional love, affection, attraction. So if it's with somebody from the past, you don't absolutely have all the tools to make it work, but... Others of you, it's just like you're done being an option. Somebody definitely put you in that predicament. Wow. Great read, guys. You got new love. New spark. Or you're rekindling something. Um, others of you, if you ask me, it's you gotta take a new. It's so clear. But you gotta you gotta take what resonates with you, of course. Cause you're gonna have to decide whether or not you want this. But it looks like you you're gonna turn your back. Well, somebody could have turned their back with you and, and now it's their loss. Regardless, you're still getting the new love. 
Okay. Or you're going to rekindle something. It's whatever you choose because that's how it works. I love you guys. Have a great week. Bye.